my budget was balanced and I didn't have any other requests, I wouldn't be here, obviously. Um, it's my understanding the way our budget has been balanced, and this is a workshop, so we're going to be some talking other than me, um, is being balanced with a um, tax increase. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And what is that tax increase? 1.9 And how much does that generate? A little over a million dollars. So it generally, we're going to have to raise taxes as county council so I can make budget for next year and just be sustainable to what my numbers are this year. Is that correct? There's nothing extra. I'm just trying to keep my nose above water, right? Yes, sir. And we're having to raise taxes to do that. So if we're going to say I've got a balanced budget, let's be honest and tell the taxpayers how it's being balanced. Is there a transfer from the general fund to balance? Yes. I just want to be crystal clear that the law enforcement fund is, is sustains lives and dies with, within itself, period. Myself and the um, chairman of the county council, uh, Mr. Morant, was at a church at Browns Ferry last week, and he spoke about council assisting us in getting a $5,000 um, bonus for anyone who applies to the detention center. That's not true. That money came straight from the law enforcement fund. The other way that you can generate revenue, it's also been said that the county council is looking at raising the general fund by two mills. Two mills. My 1.89 mil increase is the legal cap due to 388. I get it. So that's all you can raise the law enforcement fund by. So my proposal is to share, or if I was on county council, I wouldn't raise the general fund by two mills. I would raise it by four mills. And I would generate two bills, the extra two, strictly to the law enforcement fund. That's what I would do. And that would be a start in making the law enforcement fund sustainable, where the elected share does not have to come in here every year and beg and go out to the public or take your phone calls weekly and daily asking for service and where in the world am I supposed to get the people from? That's what would happen if you raise it four more, because we know we're not going to do anything next year. And why is that? Next year's election year. We're not raising mills next year. So why not go ahead and raise it to the maximum capacity of four mills this year and put that and make law enforcement sustainable? That, you ask me a question, that is my honest and brutal answer right there. I have asked for eight deputies, so let's go ahead and piggyback on the number two on that. And that's the eight additional deputies. That is a cost of $1.1 million. Well, I can promise you as the chair, the proper way to not do it is have me operate and my staff operate in 2007 standards. And we're, talk, we're talking about here actually raising taxes another two millions. Absolutely. Because it gives the people something that they can see. The third issue I hear is the $4,000 recruitment and retention proposal that I gave to the administrator probably 60 or some days ago. Um, you have the proposal that the county looks at doing. I'm here to tell you that the difference in the two options is $299,000. So my recruitment and retention to keep police officers here in Georgetown County, based on my 37 years experience, based on the salary study that has been provided to each council person, and you've had that since February the 23rd, my reasonable conclusion is $4,000 across the board. That is only a $299,000 difference than what the county and staff is proposed. We've got a situation now in the Walker Mall now that we can't even get to another. If I've got a deputy in Pauly's Island and they've got to get to a, a male or female deputy in Merle's Island, they can't get to them because they're traveling. They can't get to them in time. But I'm staffed at a certain level that sometimes that is the scenario. I've got one in one. We should, my troops should never be asked to work in that capacity, ever. 
And that's where we are. The, the eight additional deputies would be patrol deputies because that's what we have not been allotted for in over 16 years. The only increases to law enforcement officers in my agency have been on our doings. School resource officer grants, traffic grants, ATACs. The general fund has done, or county council has done nothing to secure those positions. We've done all that before. It's just very unfortunate that I would be in here for 20 minutes during your last budget workshop to talk about something as important as public safety. I would rather be openly defunded as a law enforcement agency than to be pat on the back, smile at, or people stand in your community and say they're for law and order and not fund law enforcement. I'd rather be defunded on the surface than not funded. It is my intent to do a $4,000 pay increase for my sworn deputies using my fund accounts. It is a $300,000, 299 dollars exact difference. I intend to use fund accounts to do that because that is what I have to do to retain and recruit employees. Because if I do not, you remember the letter that I sent you last year that I got zero response from. We're going to have to take deputies out of certain areas of the county and put them in the more populated areas. And you've got people that feel like they're underserved as it is. So all you're forcing me to do is to complicate that and do that to these citizens. And they deserve the same coverage as the people at the beach. And that's what's going to happen. So again, I want to be crystal clear. It is my, as the elected sheriff, and my fund balance and my law enforcement fund, I will do a $4,000 pay increase across the board in these fund balances. Since October of 2022, the Georgetown County Sheriff's Office has supplemented Andrews Police Department by over 50% of the monthly man hours needed to work. So in other words, we're half of the car. But yet, yeah, that's never discussed. But again, look at Andrews. Look at handling the community events. Look at Bike Week. Look at Pauly's Island area with the traffic. Look at Merle's Inlet with the night. Merle's Inlet is the main street of Georgetown County, whether we like it or not. There's thousands of people there every day and night. Where in the world do you think I get the people to work at? If I'm operating 2007 numbers, and my cost to service has increased almost 50%, where in the world do you think I get those people from? And I know that I'm sharing. Sure. I'm the one in charge of public safety. I've been doing this 37 years. And this is the third year that I've had to come up here with my hat in my hand and beg for nothing. Just to maintain the status quo. Thank you for your time. And I appreciate it.